We're here in Temperance, Michigan today, removing equipment out of this old feed plant behind me. This building was built in 1901 and is scheduled for demolition. So I thought I would take you guys along and we would go into it and see how it all worked back in the day. Come along. Here's an old truck hoist. Before trucks had dump beds, they would drive in here. This would pick up the front and then the corn would dump out of the back into the pit. We're down here in the basement. You gotta watch your step down here. It has definitely seen better days. Hopefully I don't run into an opossum or a raccoon. This sloped ramp is where they would back the old flatbed Model T's down into the basement. Of course, this was before this 100 horse hammer mill was installed. Back in the day, they used to harvest whole ear corn before they had modern combines. They would bring it in on flatbed trucks and feed it into this old corn sheller that would break it up into pieces. Now this corn sheller has seen better days. Feed her rotted off. Pretty neat piece of history. Then after the whole ear corn is ground up by the corn sheller and broken into chunks, it's moved up to the very top of this building by this old wooden bucket elevator. In a minute, we're gonna go up to the very top and you can see the old screener that they used to process it and make a finished product. Okay, one of the really cool things about these old plants is the man lifts. These are mechanical lifts that are man powered. They have a large counterweight inside of this column, usually 200 pounds, 300 pounds, and it offsets the body weight of the man up inside the lift. This one actually works, which is very cool. I'm gonna go up in it, step inside it like this, put your foot on the brake, and then just pull up on the rope, and we can go to the dump store. up here. Hopefully there's no raccoons. Alright. When you step up into these old rooms, you want to make sure what you're stepping on is going to support your weight. Like I said, this building was built in 1901, so that means the man lift is probably that old. It's 2019, so that makes it very old, over 100 years old. As you can tell, I'm a bit winded. It's a little bit of a workout. Now we're in the very top of this old feed plant. It's four stories tall. The man lift worked great. Remember what we were talking about in the basement? This is the bucket elevator that the uh, shelled corn is transferred into by the uh, corn sheller. It comes up here and is deposited into this corn grater. It has uh, the chunks of the cobs in it, as well as trash from the field, and the kernels of corn that you want separated out from all that trash. And that's what this old machine does. This machine is very cool. It's easily as old as the building. It was probably put in and then the building was built around it. That's how they did it back in the day. It is the Western Gyrating Cleaner. You can see how it works here. That's a counterweighted gyrator and that spins around, causes the shoe to shake back and forth and it sifts the corn out from the trash. And after it's ran over this cleaner, uh, you have nothing but clean corn that has no impurities in it and is ready to be made into feed for livestock, cornmeal, anything, you name it. Not every day you see a plant that is this old and has one of these cool old man lifts in it. I'm gonna ride this thing down and we're gonna proceed with taking out the rest of the equipment. All right, we're going down, push on the brake. Now this man lift gets a little stuck as you get to the top. What you have to do is just kind of hop up and down like that 
hopefully it won't get stuck this time. And then the fire department will come up here and get me. <laughs> With the invention of the modern combine, the western gyrating corn cleaner became obsolete because the modern combine shells the corn as it's brought out of the field. There was no longer a need for it and people simply just closed the doors and left them up there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it interesting. Like, subscribe, and share it if you want to. Have a good day.